In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a functioning compound gear train in Onshape. Um, again, I've, I've brought in some the VEX parts um, from Team Automata's uh, VEX Robotics. Um, I got a, a gear A, which is 84 teeth. I got a gear B, which is 36. This is going to share an axle with uh, gear C, which is 12. And then I have a gear D, which is 60 teeth. Um, for this, uh, since I have everything fastened to the axles, um, I'm just going to do revolute mates of the axles into this metal part. Um, so again, I'm just going to grab like the metal, the middle part of this axle. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we click in here. I'll just choose this one right here. I'm going to hold shift, bring it over, click. It should lock in right there. Um, I'm gonna just going to do a little bit of an offset so it's the axle is kind of uh, more in the middle. I'll just do a two-inch offset. Um, uh, that, like, actually looks perfect. Um, I might be colliding just a hair, um, but for video purposes, that's fine. Um, we got our 84 tooth gear on here. Um, next, what we're going to do is let's grab a Revolute Mate. Again, I'm going to grab um, just the end of my axle. Uh, let's kind of turn this around. Um, if you didn't know this again, uh, this would be where the 12 goes. This is where the 36, 60, 84 again, just for spacing. Um, again, I'm just going to do shift, click over here. Um, we'll do a little offset. Um, we'll just say two again. That seemed to work pretty good. Uh, let's do two. Looks good. Green check mark. All right, so now our, our 80 tooth and our, our 84 tooth and our 36 tooth gear are connected. Okay, so gear A to gear B. We have gear C on the same axle, um, so now we need to bring in gear D. So what we're gonna do, again, Revolute, mate. Let's grab it uh, right here. That looks good. Let's flip it around. So again, just for spacing purposes, right? Like we have to go off of this one now. There's a uh, point right here, so that's uh, 12. This would be for the 36, and then this would be, this one right here would be the 60. So let's go right here in the middle. That looks good. Uh, for the offset on this one, um, again, we need to remember that we need to align it with this gear right here. Um, let's just do green check mark. Let's see where we're at. Um, so again, obviously, we're, we need to offset this over. Uh, we can click on our Revolute 3. Let's do an offset. Uh, I think two, two is going to line it up. Uh, let's do, I don't know, shot in the dark. Let's do one and a half. All right, let's see where that puts us. Hey, that's that's pretty dang good. I, I might clean it up a little bit. Like, let's do, I don't know, let's do like 1.6. Let's do 1.6. Okay, ooh, that looks, okay. You know, again, we, we go back and forth, get a perfect number. That's okay for right now. Um, Again, so right now we have our, our compound gear train. Um, we have our Revolute mates in place. Um, but what we need to do now is we need to do our gear relation, okay? Again, as you are thinking like output over input, um, if we look at this gear right here, um, this is our gear B. This would be the output gear. This is our input gear for putting our effort into this one right here. So if we go down to Revolute 2, okay, we are going to link that with Revolute 1. Again, for our gear ratio, we have a 36 tooth gear with an 84 tooth gear, okay? That is our output over our input. Let's do green check mark. And again, we can just check to make sure that this is right. Sometimes it gets wonky. Sometimes it does input over output, output over input. So let's just kind of check this. Um, as I'm looking at this, it looks like everything's lining up. It looks like the ratio looks good. Um, if it didn't write one is, one is going to spin a, spin a lot faster than the other. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, all right, well, we've linked these two. Now let's do our gear C and B. All right. So what we can do now, let's do a gear relation again. We can go on down to our input and our output. So again, our output is going to be gear three. Our input is going to be revolute two. And again, for our ratio, we have a 60 tooth over our 12 tooth. We'll say green check mark. That looks good. We'll do green check mark. All right. So again, now let's let's check and see if our uh, gear C to D ratio is correct. 
So again, as I start to spin this, you can see everything is starting to spin together now. We can see that these teeth, yes, they're colliding, but again, everything is spinning in the direction that it should. The two middle gears are spinning the same speed and in the same direction, and we have uh, the correct rotations on everything with the correct gear ratios, okay? Uh, the last step, right? Like we want our teeth to be meshed. We don't want these collisions. So again, like we could grab um, our first Revolute. Again, if we hover over our first one, uh, it looks like we're changing our axle. This one is the metal. We don't want to do the metal. So I'm going to double click on this. We can do move. And what we're going to do is let's change our rotation angle. Again, we can just kind of guess here. I like to start with a small number kind of just slowly work our way up. I did two, maybe, I don't know, 2.1. Ooh, that looks good. Again, we have uh, a tolerance gap in between all of these mesh teeth now. We'll say green check mark, okay? Again, just to double check that, those are spinning perfectly together now, uh, meshed. Um, so let's do this last set right here. Again, let's go down, let's look at our Revolute 3. Again, our first one should be the axle, so let's double click on that. Let's go to move. And again, we can just, again, start with a number. Uh, let's do one. Uh, one, we might do a little two, three, four, let's do five. Five, that might be it right there. I think five's the winner. So let's do green check mark. Again, we have now uh, gotten perfectly meshed teeth. Okay, we have the correct gear ratio. And again, uh, what I like to do is uh, just to view this in the actual animation. So if we right click on that, we can animate our part. And again, let's do play. So again, we can see our first gear spin. That's starting to turn our next gear, which is then also spinning this gear. So our compound gear train, again, we can zoom in, we can even look at these mesh teeth. Again, if we really want to see these spin nice, we can slow it down a little bit. Let's do, I don't know, 2000. So as we slow this down, again, we can see these teeth are perfectly meshed. Gear A going to gear B, gear C going to gear D. So again, this is how you would make a functioning compound gear train in Onshape.